Welcome back to my channel, you guys. We are filming late at night tonight, which is not something I typically do. I usually film in the morning or like even like the afternoon, but never past like eight o'clock. I get a little loopy past eight o'clock, but tonight that's how the cookie crumbled. So that's what we're doing. Today's video is going to be a project pan intro of sorts. So I've decided to take like a mini step back from project panning. I just feel like that was kind of contributing to my burnout that I was feeling with YouTube and with makeup and I was just like, ugh, I don't wanna do it anymore. So we're taking a step back, we're doing things a little bit differently for the rest of the year. Originally, I was thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna scrap project painting altogether from now until the end of the year. I'm not interested in it, it's not bringing me joy. But then I was like, I still have a lot of makeup that I should probably, you know, use up. So this was kind of my compromise. So I'm titling this project 25 Uses by Christmas, kind of the play on 25 Days of Christmas by ABC Family. I, that like brings me so much joy. I look forward to that every single year. But I've decided that I'm picking five products that it's my goal to use them 25 times um, by December 25th. So that's what we're going with. 25 times is... I like I feel like when I think of 25 times it's not that much but I feel like with my makeup wearing habits lately with wearing masks all the time I'm not wearing any face makeup at all well like when I leave the house so 25 times is kind of a lot but I'm excited to try this challenge I'm hoping that it's going to motivate me to kind of use these products like on my off camera days because I honestly have gotten really bad about not really playing with makeup unless I'm filming it lately but really really closing my life is really really crossing my fingers oh my goodness my life has slowed down a little bit and i will have more time for makeup playtime during the week so i'm hoping i can give these products a little bit of love but i'm really really excited about this project i hope it kind of brings fun back to project painting for me so i can start off the new year really excited and really fresh and ready to tackle some more products so without further ado let's hop into it all right you guys so the first two products i want to chat about are lip products and i'm a little bit hesitant to throw these in but also I need to just remember that project painting is not that serious, so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, the first product that I want to throw in is the Just a Tint Lip Crayon from Colourpop. This one's in the shade Agogo, and it is this beautiful sheer red shade. I'm not usually one to go bold on my lips, but I bought the whole Emily Noel 83 set of these Just a Tint Lip Crayons, and I really haven't used this one a whole lot because it's more of a fall shade for me, and I feel like if I'm gonna wear it, and if I'm gonna create looks that like really go with this color, I'm gonna do it now. So I thought this would be a really fun shade to throw in. I was also really excited to throw in the Just a Tint formula because these are more like balmy sheer and I feel like if I just want like a kiss of color on my lips, I know that's not making a ton of progress on the product but we're going for usage here, um, I can just really really sheer it out and get more of like a stained look to my lips. So I was kind of going for versatility with this one and kind of nudging myself out of my new neutral lip comfort zone because I've got a lot of bold lip products and I enjoy wearing bold lip products. I just, I don't know, my favorite feature to play up is my eyes and I feel a little more self-conscious when I'm wearing a bold lip so I just need to get over it and go for it. The other lip product I wanted to throw in is this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. I got this in BoxyCharm a few years ago. I think it still smells okay so it's probably okay still. Um, I just wanted to throw this one in here because I think this is a beautiful shade you guys. I don't purchase from Kat Von D. Well, it's KVD Vegan Beauty now. Whatever. It was Kat Von D when I got this lipstick. Um, I'm not going to repurchase this lipstick, but I think it's a really cool shade. And again, I feel like if I'm going to create looks that really flatter this lip color, maybe I should put it on today. I may do that after this video. Um, but if I'm going to create looks that really go with this lip color, I feel like this is the time of year that I'm going to do it. So I would really, really like to get some more use out of this one. My liquid lipsticks are severely neglected in my collection and I'm hoping this project will motivate me to get some more use out of it. Next up, I did want to throw in a cheek product and this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Yes She Did, which I feel like is such a sassy name. Um, this is a beautiful kind of like reddish brick tone blush and you're probably looking at that and you're like sydney you can't wear that shade and it is a little bit deeper than i would normally go for my skin tone but as you guys can even tell like swatched on my finger right there it's a pretty sheer formula it is a little bit deep for my skin tone i was actually sent this blush by mistake from ColourPop. i received someone else's order <laughs> um and they ordered a bunch of super shock cheeks and they were all a little bit deeper but i have it on my cheeks today and I feel like it's really pretty. It definitely gives me that kind of like 
just in from the cold flush which again if i'm gonna want that at any point in the year it's gonna be this time of year so i'm really excited to kind of get a head start on that i've panned i don't know if i don't think i panned i panned like i hit pan on it but i didn't like use it up um a color pop super shocked cheek blush before and i think it took me i want to say it was around 70 uses to hit pan and make like significant progress on this so i don't think 25 is gonna like kill this blush for me but but i'm really just looking for usage here okay you guys next one is a product that i used to rave about so so much and that is the flower beauty light illusion oh wait this isn't light illusion this is the shimmer and strobe highlighting palette it's been so long since i've used this palette i just kind of fell out of love with this palette and i feel like more often than not when i put this on my skin i feel like it just looks a little bit too deep which i swear for years like this was my favorite highlighter kit like oh beautiful 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 of course when they're reflecting you can't see the shadow but i feel like i was having some issues getting a little bit of a gray cast with these so i kind of backed off from them for a little while but they are beautiful highlighters you guys like look at that glow so i would really like to get some more use out of these even if i just use them on my eyes as like an inner corner highlight and a brow bone highlight i would be really really happy with that it's just been a while since i've touched this palette and given it any love okay you guys and finally should i do two palettes then i'm at six products i don't like i don't know if i like that i want to throw in an eyeshadow palette you guys there are two that i'm very much torn between the first one is the bh cosmetics royal affair palette one of my favorite holiday releases ever i think this is a gorgeous gorgeous palette full of beautiful rich cool tones warm tones some nice like deep jewel tone pops of color well not really pops of color there's a berry and there's an olive in here let's be honest that's not super colorful um and i just really really enjoy this palette and i really want to pull it out this time of year specifically and get some more use out of it i also kind of like the symmetry of this being like a past holiday release and like my cutoff date for getting as much use as i possibly can out of it being christmas I don't know so that's kind of why i chose this one and then the second one that i was kind of like low-key kind of wanting to throw into this is the strobe cosmetics arcana palette this palette is pretty new to my collection i got it in april or may of this year um and i feel like i really didn't give it enough love when i got it just because this is a very deep palette and at the time i was super into pastels i don't know like i mean i know what i was thinking when i ordered this i ordered the creepy cute palette that's what it's called i couldn't remember what it was called i ordered the creepy cute palette at the same time I'm like you know what i'm already placing an order let's just grab the arcana palette but i feel like this is a very fall palette i'm gravitating towards this one Ugh, i was gonna say i'm gravitating towards this one more but i don't know if i am i really like the colorful options that this one has to offer but i also like like those staple neutrals that this one has to offer is it wrong to do both can i throw both in and hope for 25 uses between the two I think I might actually try that. Um, I hate panning eyeshadow. It's something I've said I'd never do ever again. And I feel like trying to hit a usage goal with eyeshadow is much different than panning it for me because like when I'm panning it, every single time I do my eyeshadow, there's this little voice in the back of my head that's like, use it, use it, use it. And I'm like, I don't want to use it. I have other things I want to use. But I feel like if I'm just like, okay, I just want you to use a shadow out of this palette at least 25 times in the next two months, I feel like that's a little less intimidating for me so i actually think i'm going to do both of these palettes i'm really excited you guys i hope that you guys are excited as well i know this is not like a super traditional project pan but we're trying it i feel like i'm still on this project pan journey figuring out what really works for me what burns me out what i like what i don't like at the beginning of this year i was so so excited to project pan and my first project pan was so successful you guys so so successful and I was like, okay, cool. I found a way to do this that really works for me. I just pin a couple of products at a time. I set my usage goals really high and I only do this for three months. And that worked really, really well when I was going to school, going to work every day. I was doing my makeup, like at least some makeup, five times a week at least. And then I was doing more makeup like when I got home from school or work and was having makeup playtime or filming or whatever. And then the pandemic hit. And quarantine hit and at the beginning I felt like I was doing makeup a lot and then I kind of like hit a little slump 
and then I feel like it just went downhill from there. So I'm hoping that this will kind of reignite my love for project painting. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you do project pans based on like hitting pan or do you do like usage based project pans? Would you ever try a usage based project pan? Are you like, eh, don't like kind of a waste of time? Leave me all your thoughts down below. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.